que beleza Mas eu pescar Aleluia Mas eu pescar Second Samuel chapter number 6 Second Samuel chapter number 6 Aruze bedi bibibi uba da batai Amen I will read from verse number 4 Come on So they brought it with the ark of the covenant from the house of Abinadab which was on the hill and Ohio was walking in front of the ark Meanwhile David and all the house of Israel were celebrating and dancing before the Lord with all kinds of instruments meds of fair and cypress wood and lyre and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals when they came to Nikon's threshold Uzzah reached out with his hand to the ark of the Lord and took hold because of the ox stumbled, nearly overturned. And the anger of the Lord burned against Uzzah. And God struck him there in the presence of, for his irrelevance and he died there by the ark of the Lord. My God. Look at your neighbor and say, God is not your classmate. God is not your classmate. Amen. Amen. Most of the times, we get gotten to a place where we have come to the things of the Lord. We have gotten to a place where we have come in the house of the Lord and not understand that the reason we are there is just to save God. God and have an encounter with God. The reason why many believers are believers, they are always in the house of the Lord, but never do they get to a place where they experience encounters. Never do they get to a place where they see manifestations of God. Is they are in the house of the Lord, but they do not know how to behave in the presence of the one they've come to have an encounter. Sarah, the Bible declares that the anger of the Lord came and met with Sarah. And the Bible says, Sarah was told, you carry a child. Next year about time, you give birth to a child. Sarah laughed. Her miracle was called laughter. The reason her miracle was called laughter, she laughed in the presence of the Lord. Jacob had an encounter with the Lord. The Bible declares that Jacob was sleeping and he had the portal. He saw a ladder. Angels were ascending and descending. He woke up. He said, surely God was here, but I did not know it. There was a man with the issue of, with, with, with the disease for 38 years. It's the place where others were being healed. He remained sick for 38 years. Until Jesus came and showed mercy. He knew that there's a time when an angel comes and steers the water. 38 years you must, you must be able to know the timing. Because heavens operate in seasons and times. So you must know it this month at this time. That is when many miracles happened. Maybe five years you might not know. But for 38 years. In the presence. Where others are being healed. But the situation remains the same. The biggest problem is not God. The biggest problem is us who save him. Where I read the Bible declares and the Bible speaks about the Ark of the Covenant. There are protocols set in the word. No matter how much you can hate, no matter how much you can speak against the protocol, principles and protocols never change. 
because of my emotions. Am I communicating to somebody? Time has come. The Bible declares in the book of John chapter number 4 verse 23. The Bible says now is the time and the time has come that the true worshippers shall worship him in truth and in spirit. So I'm not just talking about truth of people who know doctrine and scriptures. I'm talking about people who know truth and people that are spiritual. Balance, not bankrupt on the other side. Because we have spiritual Zukumen, spiritual paparikaring people that do not know the truth, all they know is spiritualism. And we have people that are not spiritual, they can tell you scriptures. But if you ask them about manifestations, they do not know. The Bible says, now is the time, and the time is now. And the scripture says, for God is looking for such people. So, when you read John 4, verse 23, God is actually looking for people. God himself in the heavens is looking for people. Where can I find a true worshiper who worships God in truth and in spirit? There are people that are seeking God. There are people that God is looking for. There are people that are going to the mountains to look for him. There are people that he is looking for. A type of generation. You tell them, sleep with me, I'll buy you an aeroplane to go abroad. They will tell you it is better to miss abroad than to miss above. A generation like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they can't compromise because of a price. That statement that says everyone is a price is for weak people. You can't buy people that were bought by the blood. No matter how many years you have been a bishop or bookshop, pastor or poster, apostle or apostrophe, you have no authority to divert and to nullify what Jesus did on the cross. protocols. There are protocols. People can clap hands while you are a pastor. When you are finishing sleeping with ladies in the church, they can clap hands because of your charisma. But in the eyes of God, you are a ninipushas fool. Not recognized in the spirit. No wait. Your name is not recognized in the spirit. Men can clap hands, but God is not. About your life. Matthew 15. Zuzuze. Ividibidibi yagabam. Hebrakatai. Verse number 8. These people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. But in vain do worship me, for they teach as doctrines the precepts of men. He's not disputing that they honor, but what he's looking for is not lip service. Where is the heart? I can tell you I love you, but I hate you for good. When it comes to God, your pretense of your outer nature does not deceive him. You can be jumping on the altar and everybody saying, that pastor is on fire. When heaven looks at you, they are seeing a cold fridge. Because if you carried fire, it would have been that greediness, that con man, that con man that is making you to preach out of your belly to deceive people of their monies. If there was genuine fire, lust would burn. If there was genuine fire, 
mountains will burn. So when you give gold, make sure that your heart is given. When the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit in Romans 8, they are the sons of God. You are led even to places where you do not want to go when you are led. Where we read in the book of 2 Samuel 6, the Ark of the Covenant had been taken by the Philistines. The Ark of the Covenant represents the presence of God. The sons of Eli went with the Ark to war and it was taken by the enemies. Why? Because they wanted to use the Ark, but they were not connected to the God of the Ark. The sons of Eli were the first priests to start sleep with women and taking people's offerings and eat them. So they wanted to they wanted to go with the ark so that Israel wins war, but they themselves were not upright. And the ark was taken. What is making Christianity to become a non-entical, unappreciated, powerful gathering is because those that are talking about God are speaking, but they, they are containers that are empty. People come with headache, they go back with malaria. We grew up in a generation. You come on the altar. You live by yourself. Why? Because you understand. It might not be no one is seeing me. It might not be that God will strike me. But my conscience will not allow me to stand in the presence of the Lord. While I have not forgiven. While I have not forgiven. We have pastors, they fight with their wives. They the same day without apologizing of it, they will come and preach and jump and shout. It is your sweat. There is no fire there. You are an actor. In this generation and in this time, this season that I've entered, I will not tolerate drama. And I will not be employed to become an actor in somebody else's drama. Never. Never. Are you paying me? to hire me to act on your drama. I came to this life with a purpose. I can't waste any minute. And I can't allow time wasters. Everybody listening to the sound of my voice, there is a destiny you carry. And time is ticking out. Some people, the day you carried more potential than what you knew. I go to a place where I realize if I, if I continue trying to look at what other people are doing, I will not do my own. I will not. I will not. Everybody carries a purpose. That person seated beside you. And God is waiting. God is waiting. The resources that I put when this person came to be on earth. But all you live is to wake up, eat, sleep. Years ago. Years ago. There are people that will have to look up to you. Children, grandchildren. That are waiting for your prayer to become a blessing for them in the future. And you are wasting time. What to make your children to survive in the future, just to open the future, are the prayers you invest now. The winter will stop you from investing. There are battles that you need to fight ahead that by that time you won't have the voice and the power to do so. It will be that prayer. And you can't prepare. Hebrews 4.16 is a genuine scripture. That let us go to the throne of God with boldness that we may obtain mercy to find grace to use in times of need. There is a time of need where you need the grace. Where your connections will not work. Your qualifications will not work. 
it was God who worked. What makes people to be picked out of the crowd? And someone says, I want to help you in life. It is not beauty. It is not beauty. If beauty was what works, what makes people to be picked, all those that all, all those that are celebrated on social media called the most beautiful, all of them would be married by now. There is a grace. Read it in the book of Esther. The Bible says when it was Esther's turn. He went into the palace when the king looked at her. The king stopped the modeling contest. So I, I don't want to see anyone else. This is the bus stop. Imagine someone coming to a place where they are an orphan. They are not royal. They get crushed. At that, at that modeling contest, there were sons and daughters of queens and princesses from other nations. They were told we are stopping you. A lady with grace entered. A bodaka. Vidum baka kukadaye. Krokokokokokokokoko. E budokom. You look at your life. You say my destiny will not end like this. E buruko popam. Vidan. E kakakakakakaka. Ito kakakukadaye. God help me. Help me. it means. Help me. That he comes, he stretches his hand over your life. Jeremiah says if his hand is not short that it cannot save. No, his ear deaf that it cannot hear. God is not your friend. They say to me, Lord, Lord, but their hearts are away. a bag of prayer requests. All of the prayer requests are out of greed. There is somebody who you are despising, who God lifted, and they are driving certain cars. It has now become your prayer request. Certain people are not praying to be married because they want to be married. There is somebody who they thought would never by the time God opened the door, it became a trigger. You can't be better than me. So they bring it as a prayer point. And God searches their heart. He says, no. It's not that even the person you want to be with you love. There is somebody you want to show. You can't deceive him. Hey. <laughs> The ark was being taken. And the Bible says everybody was celebrating. That the, the, the representation of the presence of the Lord is coming to our house, to our nation, coming back. One of the places where nobody must hold your joy is the presence. Amen. You know, the Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. There are other places where there is joy. Hear fullness. There are people that have been to all places, but when, when you see them now, they will tell you, I have never found a place where I made peace with God. So as they were going, the Bible declares that they arrived at a place where they now want to offload the, the Ark of the Covenant into the house of obed Edom. And the Bible says there is, at that point, the Bible says that there is the cow or the cattle slipped. Uza!
He went and tried to touch the ark, but he was not a priest. You know there are prescribed order in the presence of the Lord. But you see a person, who oh, says you are not a priest? What are you doing close to the ark? What are you doing close to the ark? You are not a priest. You are hired at somebody's house. The next thing you are gossiping the person who hired you. You are correcting the order, the manner in which the person who is paying you must act. Many people, that's how doors were closed. They started gossiping even with... Oh. You bring a relative, you stay with them. They will start gossiping you yet. The, the energy they are having to gossip. What, what entered their stomach giving them energy to speak? It is you. When you, when you close the door, they will now say that devil entered. There is no devil. What were you doing where you are not supposed to be? Where you are not supposed to be? What is giving you audacity to speak over somebody who is keeping you? You can't blame the devil, man. You can't blame the devil. There are people that they are the devil of their lives. There are people that when you talk about demons, they are the demons of their lives. Even the devil who say, this one I won't enter, they will finish themselves. They'll finish themselves. You have a mouth that, that the devil knows. This one, don't worry. They will, anything they are planning, they'll speak it out. Witches will deal with them. It does not need me to send demons. They will expose by their mouth. You are so lelelelic, mumushas, oretic, talkative. That you, 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 that you do not have the word discretion in your mouth. Yet not knowing anything that is not yet born must not be exposed. It must not be exposed. Oh, this is what I'm planning to do. Hear me. By the time you are speaking, there are spirits that are carrying that idea. How do you think certain people's ideas we see being accompanied by someone else? Certain things God gives you alone, but you, when when Samuel prophesied so and said you will become a king, the Bible says when he was going home, the uncle met him by the way. Do you know there are people that are programmed by the devil? How is the uncle finding his way in a path of Rama when so has been told you are going to become a king and he's an uncle? He says, what? And how did he know that Saul had made a prophet? Because the uncle said, what did the prophet say? You, you think this started now? It didn't start now. He said, what did the prophet say? Oh, Saul said, the prophet did not say anything. The woman who had a child who was dead, When she was going to Elisha, the Bible declares that when she was going, the prophet looked and said, the Lord has hidden this matter from me. Send Gaius, his servant, go and ask, is everything well? Is everything well with your house? Is everything well with your husband? Is everything well with your child? He went, Gaius, met with the woman. Is everything well? The woman looked at Gaius and says, it is well. I'm not, I, I've not come to speak to you. I want the prophet. He's the one who prophesied the prophecy and the child he prophesied he must come and resurrect the child. Yeah. I love the audacious audacity of people of the past. You prophesy it if it dies you must resurrect it. Yeah. <laughs> 
because this was taken out of prayer by the daughters of Zolofela. He was in prayer. They came, they took him out. Give, we want our father's portion. Moses went, went back to God. God, you said women cannot possess. God says, listen to what they are saying. Come out of prayer. Give them what they want. Audacious people. You, you think things are God tempered. Easy in the spirit. Somebody right now is busy at the sea. Right now, as I'm speaking. It's only a, a, a rapper that they've raped. Busy at the sea. With pins on their body. They're busy chanting your name. Chanting your name. And when now you are there, you sleep as if you are competing with dead people. Somebody is busy with a destiny. Your name right now might be in a pot. They are busy calling your name. Iga, Hebolida, Ibudu, 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 Le, Ibudu. They make rounds. They call your name. They call your mother's name. They call your father's name. You know, just, I, I, men of God, it's not insomnia. Wake up and pray. It's insomnia. Oh, you can watch movie for seven hours. You can't pray for two hours. But you want a massive destiny, massive. Jesus prayed until his sweat was like blood. The Son of God, God is not your friend. If Jesus, the Son of God, could pray, God is not your friend. God is not your friend. People are saving God. In China, people are arrested if you are found with the Bible. They cram scriptures. People smuggle Bibles into the prison. Papers. Not even full Bible. Papers with scriptures. Someone crams it, chews it after screaming it to keep the word. When now your Bible is dust. And you think you can you 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 can you you can have weight in the spirit. Oh, such a jelly pudding generation. Oh, I want I want people to rise from wheelchairs, wheelchair. 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 With the wheelchair. The doctor has failed it. It's God who can do it. It's not, it's not the shouting on the mic that, that makes power to move. I spoke a statement yesterday. People do not fall. It is their foundation that is weak. The same way a building does not just fall. It is the foundation. because the stomach was empty. Proverbs says, if you fall in the day of adversary, your strength is small. Gather strength. Load yourself. Load yourself. You have been eating since you were born. It has never helped you. You are told to fast. Uh, my salivary glands, salivary glands, those things, those things will leave you in the day of trouble. They will leave you in the day of trouble. Oh, God, boom, baby. He don't bo go there. No, you know, you know, listen, demons don't, demons don't care about grammar. That's why there are people with deep grammar, but they don't have a cobble. When demons fight you, your grammar does not matter. Power is what matters. Power is what matters. We grew up in a season where we had mothers that knew how to provoke the heavens. They closed themselves in a room. And on that door it is written, do not disturb. Prayer closet. Three days. You're wondering what's happening in this house. 
They know. The shout I gave birth to, I married a husband. And from where I married, there are altars that no one from there rises. So I can't allow that demon that is a fighting even other cousins to affect my children. Let me fight. They close themselves. And you wonder why you are winning certain battles. Somebody was closing themselves. A generation that does not fear God. God is not your friend. God is not your friend. It is your friend who you can call and do missed calls, not God. He nudges you to wake up and pray. And you sleep because you are very much important. Hear me, there are people with privileges more than you that are waking up and they, are, they can't sleep. They want to have an encounter with this God. Where they are and they are, they, they are leaving their bedroom to be in the couch to pray, it is your prayer point where they are. But their tears are rolling, crying, God, I love you. And you look at yourself, you are. You, 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 you have arrived a journey that you have not started. That you have not started. You are a young preacher. You prophesy one person already you are. Already everybody else is now small. Uh, elder people with white hair. You call them you. Stand up. Run here. Somebody older to be your grandmother. You think that small prophecy you did? There are people that are prophesying prophecies of 500 years to come. That you are anointed does not mean dishonor people. It means save. God has given you opportunity. You wake up. You, you, you wake up. You, you don't even have a word to thank God about. Just wake up. The first thing you do, even go, heaven is looking and saying, God, we wasted breath here. <laughs> there is no word. At least those that just wake up and say, good morning, Holy Spirit are better. No word. The first thing you are looking for a gossip page. What is the latest one? What happened when I was asleep? Yet that day you are entering there are people, hear me. Do you think Jesus, Jesus was crazy when he said, when you pray, say, give us our daily bread. Do you know that every day there is a supply from heaven? There are unclaimed packages in the spirit. You think I'm lying? Psalms 19, verse 2. Unclaimed packages, Pastor T. And heaven is looking and is worried. Not even worried. Have you ever heard the Bible? The Bible says, He who sits in heaven laughs. Yeah. At least wake up and claim. What is it saying? Psalms 19. 19, verse 2. The book of Psalms 19, verse 2. Uh -huh. Day to day. Day to day. Meaning, Monday to Sunday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Friday Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Uh -huh. Day to day pours out speech. Day to day pours out speech. Meaning, every a day has an utterance. It speaks. Come on. Monday speaks to Tuesday. Tuesday speaks to Wednesday. All right. I hear you, sir. He 
has not prayed and taken what we are supposed to give him on Monday. Tuesday, take over. Tuesday, saying, oh, this is an overload. It's more than what uh, the capacity I have to carry. My gosh. That is why there are certain people, when they start having the revelation, you are surprised in one year. What a person will achieve, you wonder. What is that kind of hard work? They now understood. That scripture that says you shall restore the years. There are, there are things I haven't claimed. Have you ever seen when, you, when, when they say, they, there is this thing that I heard about SARS, that they can pay you back. Hey. When you see people that are supposed to take their giving, claiming. So when, when, when you see, when you see me pray that prayer of claiming, I, I know what I'm talking about. I was telling you about the revelation in the morning. That they are what you call generational what? Prophecies. The land Canaan where Abraham went, it was his father who was supposed to go there. It's not him. There are things that your father did not even knew he was supposed to. He just had an idea. You saw him writing and sometimes maybe he was speaking, I'm going to have a double story. What? No. Those prophecies God was putting in his heart. Those prophecies, someone in the generation must make them to become a reality. Uh, you didn't get it. You didn't. You know about generational cases. The, the, you hear me? The, the, the places that those that came before me were supposed to go and they did not go, I will go on their behalf. Amen. The houses they were supposed to build. That they did not, on their behalf, I gladly accept the mandate. I will build on their behalf. So certain people, when you see them, they, just from a family, all of a sudden, just that one person, start having a lot of things. Relax. He's claiming for those that did not have the insight to claim. So it's just like ease. The way, no, no. It's, they have understood that there are things, everybody is packaged. And in generational blessing, if everybody, grandfather, grandfather, grandfather missed it, I, if I get the revelation, I will take it by force. This thing deserves aggression. It, it deserves somebody with a genuine heart to God. Any generation, the reason why we are not seeing God is because when it comes to things of God, everybody just, just, just thinks they can do what they can do. Somebody will come because they have a mouth, they have grammar, they can argue. They say, no, you know, we don't serve God that way. You, you were born yesterday. Something that was being done by people that died, their bones are no longer bones now. It is you to correct. Oh. Sometimes when the devil wants to attack a person, you make you think you know more than everyone else. You know why the Bible says pride goes before a fall? Because you think you know more than everyone else. Now you, you are correcting. A generation where a child will look at the mother and start correcting the mother. A, a person who has given capacity to create liquid to become a human being. The power they have to uproot you from this earth. Ask Reuben. Reuben was told by Jacob he will be unstable as waters. He lived life, but he had no weight like a paper. You joke, parent, parent, you think grammar, G grammar. Oh, there are people you don't provoke. Lot is drunk, but he has power to kiss a son, and heaven hears. This generation, there are protocols. Uza, God is not your friend. Don't touch the ark. 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 You are given a privilege to become a preacher. You start deceiving people. A privilege to become a preacher. You start becoming a con man on the pulpit. Just wait. Ask, ask Saul. 
He was busy murdering believers. When Christ came and met him, he says, Jesus says, so why are you persecuting me? He's killing other people. Jesus, when he comes, says, you are persecuting me. You steal from God, you pay with your blood. It, it surprised me. I was crying in my place of prayer. And this was the question. Why is it that most pastors I know, powerful, male pastors, they die young and they die with funny diseases? Because it's that body is not born again. You collect time. You go and eat pizza. A sacrifice, somebody came and it is tears. That someone said, go change my story. And you go and buy pizza. In that stomach, it will out. <laughs> Your stomach will answer the prayer. That is how destinies have been changed. God said, ah, me, I make you an intercessor, an intermediator. When you think this is a red light, I will show you. I will show you. 50 years gone. But this person was powerful, very young. You don't know. You don't know where long life comes from. Bible says, honor your father and mother. You don't know where long life comes from. If you read that scripture, you understand that there are principles. That scripture is even there. If you want long life, honor your father and mother. But there are people even now that can do it. You stand, you lift up that voice as if you have an amplifier on your parent. They don't need to lift their voice. They don't need to lift their voice. They don't need. They say you will be like a reed on this earth. Every wind will blow you. And you wonder, you start this business, nothing. Nothing. Relationship, nothing. You start this. It's like you have no weight. You arrive around people, no one notices you. It's like, you you know when, oh. when your presence is not recognized and your absence is not missed. Psalms 40. Let me close around here. Psalms 50. Psalms chapter 50 verse 21. These things you have done. These things you have done. And I have been silent. I've been silent. You thought that I was one like yourself. You thought that I was. I'm not your chomi here. But now I rebuke you. God says these things you have done. The silence of God does not mean he's not seen. These things you have done, I was silent. You thought I was like you. When God comes and says, you think I'm like you. You think I'm your friend. You think I'm your friend. You break principles, you think I'm your friend. You think I'm your friend. Never. Somebody is busy seeking God. Do you know there are certain people that, di- that, that, that discouraged people from seeking God? Yeah. And God is looking at it. He's saying, you want to temper with somebody whose heart is open like this to me. He's not like you. God is not like you. 
When serving God, everything about you must be given to Him. He's not like you. He's not. He's not. He's not. We are busy praying that people will be saved from beer holes, be saved from shabbies, be saved from drugs. They come to the house of the Lord desiring God. And that is when someone will just come. Liberal emergency. I, you, you wear something that makes that, that, that person is running from what, what they are running from, coming to church and the very same place they are running to. Becomes the place where they fall. Someone is running from charms. They arrive and the pastor is very deep. Very deep. I remember there's a time when we prayed in Guero, in Zayoja. There was an elder. That man sounded spiritual. You, you would speak about angels and all these things. He was an old man. We prayed. Hey, we prayed. Somebody visited his house and found him seated and he was doing the bonds. When we speak about elders, there is not, it's, you would have grown well respected. An elder is second to the pastor. He was doing bonds. We are running from the things that you want to come in. about God, I can't compromise. I rather lose certain friendships and I stand upright. Because what I gain from God, no connection can give me. No connection. No connection. What God can do to me, no connection can do. about a story of one of my friends here. When they are worshipping their song with the lady, you think it's worship? No. It's their love song, but it's worship way. And everybody is playing with God. You think, you think God is a checkers match? There are people that died for this thing. You, you do not know what happened to Jesus. That's why you just hear the story. You can't wake up for the whole night. Do you know the time when that man was crucified? You think it was in summer? Go and read and see the conditions of the climate. They put him in the open the whole night. They were beating him at night. In the morning, they made him climb a mountain carrying a big, heavy, 30 KG stick. And his, his body back was rattled and tattered. And his mother is following. And I believe the mother was saying, my son, when you come here, you want to play Ludo with God. A generation like this, I'm telling you, that is why God is now, I, I, that is why God is now picking people you never think he can pick. Because sometimes those that were born in church are not serious enough. So you go and pick someone there who, who, the moment God turns their life, they become so sold out to him. Sold out to him. These things you did, you thought I am like you. God is not like you. 
that breakthrough you are praying for is too small for God. There's something I said when I was coming here, and I said, there are certain prayers you are praying, that prayer will not be answered until you change. It will not be answered until you change. Because God is seeing the heart. What he said in Matthew 15, Jesus said, they say to me, Lord, Lord, but their hearts are what? Very far. Very far. When I see certain times people bragging about the things of God, I wonder, is it really about God? See me. Me, if I can stand here, man of God, 11 hours I can speak in tongues. Hear me. Anything you brag about, you no longer have the grace for it. Because if you have grace for it, you know that you can't do it. It is grace that is making you do it. Yeah. We are going to pray to me this wonderful morning. God is going to touch and transform people's lives. He's looking for people that are sold out. He's looking for people that are sold out. People that are sold out. I would have gone deeper, but let's end here. That are sold out. Sold out to God. I know what I saw. Pastor T, I know what I saw. about tithe. The man is ready to come. You are still fighting about members. Don't steal my members. There are thousands of people in the, that, that have not heard about Christ. Pastors are fighting about somebody maybe only because they just give small tithe. No, 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 no. This is more than money. This gospel is more than any money. This gospel, hear me. Being a servant of God, you are listening to me online there. Being a servant of God is not the suit you wear. There are people that are coming with cancer. The suit will not heal the cancer. Power. They don't come to meet a man. They come to meet God. People that, by, they, 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 have, they have tablets in their cars. If they leave church and God does not touch them, they are committing suicide. That is where you play Ludo game. I will not be very, very, very simple with you. Because if you are snatching someone from fire, you don't whisper. Pull them out. You rather save your life. Even if the hand breaks, but your life is saved. I saw potentials in people that are not attempted. The things they are praying for are things they are already given. And God has already spoken for. I have not yet seen. No, is it entered the ears of men what God wants to do to them that love him? God already wants to do. He's waiting for a lover. Waiting for a lover. Somebody who will love him. Somebody who will love him. Kileme na kasope na tanai Elabarande kapai Yamande kalamande kapou sabalata
to utter words of love to Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Open up your heart. You know what you want God to do in your family, over your health, over your household. Tell him I love you, Jesus. Tell him I love you, Jesus.
Jesus, my, my lover, Jesus, my, my lover. 